Samsung has introduced a new custom-designed chipset for its Galaxy devices called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform. This advanced chipset has been specifically tailored for Galaxy devices and was initially used in the Galaxy S23 series. Reports suggest that Samsung plans to also use this chipset in the upcoming Galaxy Tab S9 series. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform is highly advanced and offers significant customization options for Samsung's devices. Firstly, let us inform you the Galaxy Tab S series is Samsung's tablet flagship. This year, the company will launch the ninth generation of this flagship, the Galaxy Tab S9 series. The series will have three devices as usual, Galaxy Tab S9, Tab S9 Plus, and Tab S9 Ultra. This new series will surely offer an incredible performance to the user, in addition to a durable design, brand new software, and a bunch of novelties. Recently, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra device has been spotted on the benchmarking website Geekbench. As per database, the top-of-the-line Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra model, with model number SMX916B, features the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset in it, which is said to overpower the Galaxy S23 series in terms of performance. Informatively, in the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra device, the SESOC's Prime CPU core delivers a peak CPU clock speed of 3.36 GHz, four high-performance cores deliver a 2.8 GHz clock speed, and three power-efficient cores deliver a 2 GHz clock speed. On the Geekbench website, this tablet has scored 2,054 points in the single-core CPU and 5,426 in the multi-core CPU test. The tablet has surpassed the Galaxy S23 series Geekbench scores. Let us inform you the Galaxy S23 series has scored 1,950 points and 4,850 points in single-core and multi-core tests, respectively, on the benchmarking website Geekbench. There is no doubt that the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra has surpassed the smartphone flagship, which means it will offer better gaming performance, higher frame rates, and smooth performance, and will be capable of bearing a workload such as long gaming sessions. That concludes today's update. I hope you found the information useful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please leave your comments in the section below. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.